Bonnie, happy Monday. I am back. I got 80s music on the brain. I'll explain that in a minute if you've been seeing those little shorts for me. <laughs> I have to review Starlet Night for you guys. And there's a couple of scents I forgot in my lineup earlier. So you may have noticed I did a YouTube short of the Frosted Coconut Snowball Bath Fizzy. I'm finding myself um, getting backed up in reviewing stuff, so I'm trying to do a couple of these YouTube shorts, and they're only 15 seconds long, so I'm kind of throwing some 80s music in there. <laughs> As you all know, um, I am an 80s girl at heart. I graduated class of 88, and um, yeah, I pretty much, uh, there goes Coco, you guys. I pretty much live for 80s music, so that is my uh, homage to the 80s music. I love finding songs to put to these YouTube shorts, so a little entertainment factor going on there. So, what did I forget this morning? I forgot the entire fruit collection in my earlier video, including Cherry Limeade, which was absolutely fabulous. I don't know how I forgot this collection. I do know how I forgot it. So, <laughs> Bath & Body Works has got like far too many cents for even me who does this every day to quantify in one video. So, um, put Cherry Limeade on the list of scents. I thought I saw somewhere that watermelon lemonade is coming back for semi annual sale. I don't know. There's two versions of watermelon lemonade. One is like more sugary, I think. I gotta look into that. Um, another thing that I forgot, of course, is that entire tropical collection. I don't know. I was a little bit crabby this morning about the tropical collection. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they've been redoing these scents over and over again. And I, I feel like they need to keep the core ones like Waikiki Beach Coconut. I feel like no one is liking the Bahamas one as much. Um, Belize was pretty good last year. I really think we need a couple of like really fresh new tropical scents added in. I would love to see like Tropical Spice, the candle as a body care. That would be wonderful. Give us something a little bit different. So that's what I'm hoping for the tropical collection. But I do like once spring rolls around, I'll get it, I'll get more excited about tropical. Right now I'm just immersed in Christmas. <laughs> and then I feel like there's a little bit of a missing element. That's why I want to review Starlit Night. Um, in terms of New Year's Eve. So last year we had the Roaring Twenties collection. They did Black Cherry Merlot, Confetti Daydream, uh, sweet whiskey with an apple twist and then champagne toast was part of the was it champagne toast I think so it's part of the, I'm like what was the fourth one the new year's collection and then in the past for semi-annual sale usually like twinkling nights and little black, black party dress show up I'm hoping these show up somewhere in semi-annual sale and remember the triple berry martini from last year? These are just like fun New Year's like sparkly scents uh, that we haven't seen yet. Oh, they're, they're awesome scents. So I'm really hoping those kind of show up. Which brings us to Starlit Night. Oh my gosh, you guys. The packaging on this is stunning. I love the purple and blue holographic. And ironically, um, they've got like cut crystal on the packaging. That is what the scent kind of embodies for me. It's a very sharp scent. It's not cozy. It's not dreamy. It's definitely got an edge to it. Actually, it kind of feels a little bit like an 80s scent to me, which is weird. So um, the scent notes in this one are Snowberry, Midnight Iris, and Sensual Agar Wood. I'm going to read the description. It says, the magic of the night sky is yours with this dreamy constellation. It's not dreamy. Uh, fragrance that feels like lying under a twinkling canvas of a million stars. I don't think so. <laughs> so, I don't dislike this scent. I just feel like it's a little bit um, on the ordinary side. It's not like popping for me at all. There's just kind of like a mixture of like maybe the winter berry. It smells a little bit fruity. It smells a little bit perfumey. It smells a little bit powdery, but I feel like there's like a sharp edge to it. 
Um, which makes it more of like an evening scent. I think this would be a fine scent to wear like a New Year's Eve. With everything else out there though, um, I just wonder how well this scent is going to do. I don't know if this is gonna be a full collection. Like are we getting everything in Starlight Night? Or is this just like a one-off um, like Christmassy thing? This is what it looks like in the um, body cream. I use the body cream. I put it on at night. It's not bad. Like I said, I, I I don't I don't like not like it. I just don't like love it. Love it. It just smells kind of ordinary to me. I don't know. Has anyone tried this and just kind of gotten a eh? You know, I I would I would I would wear it happily, but it's really light in the cream. Like it's not bad in the mist, but as far as the cream, I almost can't even smell it. I would actually, I mean, Into the Night, you know, is like really strong, Forever Red. Like those are some nice layered evening scents. I feel like this one is just a little bit lacking. The body wash is beautiful. Look at how pretty this is in the blue. I love the packaging. That's the sad part. Um, it's a little bit stronger in the body wash. I'm getting more like, it smells like a crystal fruit scent. Remember when Bath & Body Works did that whole like mineral collection? I had a couple of pieces. It kind of reminds me of like that mineral collection a little bit. I feel like there's like, and that's probably the um, the sensual agar wood, but I think like the sensual amber, I actually like the cashmere glow a lot better. Oh my gosh, cashmere glow and I don't even like peach. I, I'm finding better, I'm gonna review these soon. Um, Dark Kiss. I mean, Dark Kiss is a fabulous layered scent. Um, a Thousand Christmas Wishes. I mean, this is pomegranate, sweet elderberry, star jasmine, and sugared woods. I mean, the packaging is, you know, in the same family here. But my goodness, like, A Thousand Christmas Wishes has got a pop to it. Like, you smell this and you go, wow, this smells really good. There's a definite, like, fruit scent going on. I feel like Starlit Night isn't quite sure what it wants to be. Is it like a powdery scent? Is it a casual scent? Is it a dreamy scent? Is it an edgy scent? And actually, I, I, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> so if you got it for Body Care Day for $5.50, I think it's worth, you know, trying out, see if you like it. But now that we've got buy three, get one, I don't think I would necessarily rush to get this as a new scent. I would hold off and get it. Um, hopefully it's on sale for semi-annual sale. I don't know what the plan is for this scent, but um, it just isn't like, it's not wowing me. Let's just say that. <laughs> so anyway, um, I got more coming later. I'll have another video, but let me know what you think about this Starlit Night. I'm really curious to see what other people think. Maybe it's just my nose. I don't know. But um, ironically, <laughs> now that I pulled the tropical scent out, I'm less crabby now. I'm like, darn, this smells good. <laughs> Bring on the banana. Okay, I'm in the mood for the tropics now. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>